The BlackBerry Z3 is BlackBerry's latest offering in the world of mid-range smartphones. Priced at Rs 15,990, the Z3 is a decent performer and we'll review what all it's capable of in this video. This is Karan Binali from MobiScrub and this is the full review of the BlackBerry Z3. The Z3 is powered by a 1.2 GHz dual-core processor backed up by 1.5 GB of RAM. It comes with a 5-inch display with a resolution of 540 by 960 pixels. The Z3 is heavier and thicker than the Z10, which was the first BlackBerry OS X device. Performance-wise, I'd still say that the Z10 is better, but the Z3 has a better battery life, a bigger screen, and the latest BlackBerry 10.2.1 OS. Z3's display is just about average. It's got a 5-inch screen with a resolution of 540 pixels by 960 pixels. You can of course change brightness levels and you can even change the color tone going into the display settings. The Z3 is a, is a single device, so you know you cannot open the battery door, uh, you cannot access the battery, you can't change the battery, the whole thing is one sealed unit. What's really eye-catching and different is the back of the Z3, which is a matte finish, soft, dotted pattern which provides excellent grip and delivers a pleasant holding experience. In fact, it feels better than what we had in the Samsung Galaxy S5. The pattern is uniform and in addition to providing a good grip in hand, it also avoids accidental slip that might happen due to slightly inclined surfaces or sudden movement of hand. The downside, of course, is that it attracts a lot of dust. So, you know, you're going to have to keep cleaning it uh, if, if you keep it somewhere dirty. The primary camera of the Z3 is a 5 megapixel shooter with LED flash and autofocus. And I'll talk more about the camera and the picture quality later in the video ahead. Uh, just to quickly take you around the device, you've got a micro SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. Uh, so you can expand memory up to 32 gigabytes in addition to the 8 GB that you get. Uh, at the uh, bottom, you've got, uh, sorry, at the top, you've got a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, on, the, on the left edge, you've got the power and lock key in silver. You've got the volume rockers and you've got the voice command button. So you can keep that pressed and, you know, uh, USB 2.0 data syncing and charging port. From a personal perspective, I find the Z3's uh, width to be too much. It's, it's a little broad for uh, my hands, but again, I'm pretty short. <laughs> I'm just five feet, five inches. So, you know, it kind of becomes difficult for me to use using single hand, but the thickness uh, is nine millimeters, which is also a little too much, uh, a little on the higher side for a device that's coming out in today's day and age. Uh, the other thing, the other ergonomic issue that I have is that the keys, power and lock key, the volume lockers are not on the right. They're on the left edge. Uh, and I'm a right-hand user, like most of the users. So it does, you know, it would have been easier for me to use the thumb on my right hand than to have used the other fingers uh, to use the buttons on the left. Anyway, for the purpose of this video uh, and uh, not having much choices, I'm going to use it in my left hand. So there you go, guys, the BlackBerry OS 10.2.1 on the Z3. That's the lock screen and you simply swipe to unlock the home screen. Um, and there you go, uh, you have all your preloaded apps, multiple app screens, and as you can see uh, that, you know, the transition, it's slightly less responsive than what I would expect it to be, uh, you know, the, as compared to other devices at the same price range. Uh, that's the priority hub where everything, all accounts, BlackBerry messages, uh, BBM messages, text messages, appear in one single place so that you can keep track of all your conversations um, you know, in the same place, you know, you don't have to look at other, at different places and you can of course go ahead and uh, compose a new mail or send a text message or a BlackBerry message or whatever it is, you know, uh, send attachments as well. Uh, and of course, BlackBerry has been known for its really robust uh, email system. You can also throw voice commands uh, to the BlackBerry Z3, you know, search your device or search the internet or know the weather or post a tweet or schedule an appointment. All of that, there's a button between the volume rockers, keep that pressed. Uh, and you know, you can then, you have your own voice assistant as you do with Google Now or Siri. So, you know, you can just tap the mic and send in your command. The Z3 comes with a bunch of preloaded apps, all your social platforms, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Foursquare, all of those are there. You've got music and video players, a video editor, you've got your Evernote, you've got weather apps, and you've got Acrobat Reader, Box Storage, all of these are preloaded. Of course, you can go to the BlackBerry app world and download more. Now, uh, in most dialers, you can use T9 dictionaries. So for example, T-E-S-T -E using 8378. Uh, and you know, you can just tap on the name that appears matching to your T9 letters. You can't do that in BlackBerry dialer. Uh, you know, you kind of have to go through your contact list and select someone that you want to make a phone call to. Uh, just something I thought I'll highlight. Now, to close an app or to come out of it, you need to swipe up 
So from you know, the bezel, you swipe up, and that's how uh, you can just close the app. There is a setup icon that, has, that basically lets you set up your accounts, your messenger, your uh, payment options, or Wi-Fi, everything, uh, you know, just one simple button, and it's going to guide you everywhere. You've got a bunch of settings that you can play around with and make the phone yours, of course. You know, you've got date time, software updates, app manager. Uh, just, you know, if you go into the apps, sorry, the about section, you would know that it's got total storage of 8 GB with free storage, or how much RAM you've got, how much it's free, uh, your battery status, and your PIN, of course. And you can get to know more things if you want, you know, your network data, your OS data, anything that you want to know about the phone, all of this is available right there. Um, apart from that, there are a bunch of tweaks that you can make. So if you go into your main volume and you can enable music shortcuts, uh, you know, so using your ro volume rocker, you can, you can do a couple of functions. Uh, you can also uh, set up your lock screen for notifications. Uh, you can set up a lock screen message if you want. Uh, so, you know, that's a tiny little trick. You can also customize uh, what song, you know, or what ringtone to play, um, or what the LED color should be when a particular contact calls you. So it's just a quick way to kind of know who's calling. So again, you know, you can just go through all these settings um, and change them around to make the phone more uh, personalized. Uh, you know, again, you can play around with the brightness settings, change the color tone. If you think your screen's too yellow or too blue, you can just, you know, kind of balance it off. If you swipe your finger from the top edge of the screen, you will get access to your settings. Uh, you can access your alarms, manage your notifications, uh, your radio controls, etc. Also on the lock screen, if you have a new message, just tap them on the screen itself, on the lock screen itself, and you can tap open your messages from there directly. Uh, looking at the keyboard, it's really nice and big. Uh, you've only got the letters, so it's really clean. Uh, you know, of course, it does not have uh, swipe, but you know, you, it still predicts letters and you can swipe up at, at those letters when the words are formed to make it faster. Let's quickly talk about the camera app. It's really simple, the interface is very neat and clean. Uh, you can just tap to focus and of course it can autofocus uh, as well. Uh, and it takes pictures uh, pretty quickly. Uh, you know, the, the quality is somewhat okay. It's a five megapixel camera. The front camera is pretty good as well. Uh, you can just use the volume rocker to kind of take snaps real quick. So if I tap the uh, the volume rack rocker or on the screen, it just takes picture real quick. The, of course, the quality uh, is much better on the phone screen than when you transfer it. Uh, it's got a bunch of modes. Uh, it's got the shooting mode, it's got uh, stabilization mode, the burst mode and HDR. But again, guys, this is not a camera phone, so don't, don't have your expectations too high. And at the last, you've got your BlackBerry app world, wherein you can go and install uh, whatever app you want. Of course, the library of apps is not as comprehensive uh, or as good as you see in iOS and uh, Android devices, but it's still pretty good. It'll get the work done. Uh, you don't have your native Gmail or YouTube apps on the BlackBerry, so please uh, keep that in mind. So guys, in the end, if you really want a mid-range of BlackBerry, the Z3 and Z10, both are very good options. If you're not stuck at BlackBerry, then you've got Samsung, HTC, and Sony Xperia, which have plenty of options in the same range. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and do not forget to like the video.